Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are officially in my favorite season of the year, award season. It's not about the movies, even though I love movies, but it's all about the red carpet fashion. And this weekend we had the first show of the season, the Golden Globes. I love the Golden Globes because they kind of set the tone for the rest of award season. So without further ado, let's get right into my fashion recap. Let's start things off with Miss Mandy Moore, who has been out of the red carpet scene for quite a while, but she came back with quite a bang. She looks simply spectacular in her black Naeem Khan dress. It was this gorgeous kind of flowy, deep V chiffon with a stunning cape. Honestly, I think she looked gorgeous. Um, she tends to be a little bit more on the kind of bohemian side, but this time she came for the glamour. The deep V complemented her perfectly. It had like a little jeweled thin belt, which was the perfect little hint of sparkle without overpowering the stunning silhouette of the gown. Let's talk about Lily Collins and her Suer Murad gown and her Harry Winston jewels. She was like a breath of fresh air in the red carpet. She looked stunning. This kind of sheer detailing on the neckline with the subtle beading kind of going into the rest of this stunning huge skirted gown um all of the lacing with the beading and the color the back honestly everything about this dress is perfection she looked stunning she's definitely one to look out for for the rest of award season then we have our belle of the ball miss emma stone who won the golden globe for her performance in la la land which if you have not seen make sure to check out a lot of people are kind of asking why they won so many awards watch the movie and you will understand why emma stone wore a gorgeous valentino um kind of grecian inspired dress with silver stars which looked so pretty i think she could have upped the fashion game a little bit she's known as a really you know a fashionista risk taker but i thought she looked really pretty um for the occasion she looked like a winner um you could tell that she was feeling very comfortable you know it wasn't like an overly tight dress or like this huge um ball gown i did um think even though her necklace was stunning i think it should have been just a little bit longer just because of the plunging neckline it would have complemented that a little bit better but other than that she looked amazing. Let's talk about Ruth Nega. She has everybody buzzing. This is definitely a fashionista to lock out for this uh, award season. I think she's gonna be pulling off these amazing looks show after show after show. I can't wait what she comes out with. I think she's like this year's Lupita Nyong'o, who was just a few years ago, everybody wanted to see what she was wearing to each award show. I think Ruth is the girl to watch this season. She wore this stunning silver sequin Louis Vuitton dress, which literally looked like painted silver, like liquid on her. Um, it was so chic, so different, unlike anything else that was seen on the red carpet. Fun to see a girl playing with fashion, being daring, thinking outside of the box, um, and kind of give us a lot to talk about for the rest of the season. One of my different, definite favorites on the red carpet was Kristen Bell. Girl, you look amazing. She's a mom and I I just can't get over how stunning she looked. She was wearing Jenny Packham. It was this long sleeve sequin dress. Again, very popular on the red carpet of words, the sequins. But it just hugged the upper half, hugged her perfectly. It had like this plunging neckline, which was perfect because she doesn't have the biggest set of tatas. So it wasn't like she was coming out of her dress. Honestly, she looked flawless. Next up, we have Blake Lively, who, let's have a moment. She's back on the red carpet after her la having her last baby. She hasn't had a red carpet moment in a, in a while, and she looked amazing. Like, amazing isn't even the word. She wore this velvet Versace Atelier, dress with um it kind of had like it was like a halter neckline which was gold sequins or like a rose gold sequence and it had pockets which were to die for like the placement of the pockets was super interesting i love how you you know she didn't have your her hands in the pockets you wouldn't even tell there were pockets um 
the complement of the velvet with the sequins, the black with the rose gold was simply perfect. You know, her hair and makeup were kept simple, but what really, really, really made this dress was her Lorraine Schwartz emerald cuffs. These cuffs are stunning. Like that was the perfect complement to the dress, the perfect pop of color that she needed. And I love that she kept the earrings small, not to kind of overpower the rest of the dress and kind of just let the cuffs be the focus of the outfit. Another one that's giving a lot to talk about and some people like it, some people don't, was Michelle Williams in Louis Vuitton. It was kind of this off the shoulder, sweetheart neckline, white lace with kind of like a gray undertone. She looks simple, you know, I think she sometimes brings a little bit extra on the red carpet, um, but I think for what she was wearing, she looked pretty, she looked elegant, she looked great for the occasion. Um, she could have, you know, elevated it a little bit more, but I think she looked great nonetheless. I'm going to go into my young fashionistas, Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things. This girl, I, I think she, they said, I think she just turned like 13 if I'm not mistaken. And she is killing it at the fashion game. Killing it. Like I have not seen her on one red carpet where she doesn't look amazing. And she's wearing like legit designers like Valentino, Versace, Prada. And she looks amazing in them. She's like this little girl <laughs> that just exudes this confidence and this power. And she's always like, yes, I'm here. Look how great I look. Um, and he, this, the Golden Ghost was in the exception. She wore a strapless, silver beaded, kind of tea length dress. Um, a lot of people kind of get faulted for wearing T-length dresses to these awards show, but on her it works. Um, you know, she's a young girl. I think she would have been overpowered by a big kind of bulk on her big dress. Um, so I think the T-length worked for her. She was, her dress was actually Jenny Packham and she was wearing Sophia Webster shoes, which are known for their quirky styles. So I thought it was perfect for her. She looked great. Um, my other young fashionista is Hailey Steinfeld. Girl always kills it. I love how she can go from pop star to like Hollywood starlet. And that's exactly what she looked like. She looked like an old Hollywood starlet. She was wearing this custom Vera Wang chiffon purple kind of heavenly dress. It had like this really light cape. The movement and the fluidity of the dress, it kind of had like a little bit of sheerness on the sides of the torso, which I think looked perfect on her. It kind of elongated her even more and made her taller than she already is. All it was a standout because it was different. Not a lot of people did purple. Yes, um, at the not a lot of people did purple on the red carpet. The sleeve also had like a really kind of draped detail. Again, I just love, 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 and a definitely best dress nominee for me. And we have our power couple of the night who I think slayed the red carpet together. I thought they looked so amazing was Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. I'm not always a fan of Jessica Biel. I think sometimes I feel like she can look a little bit old for her age, but she pulled it off. The dress was simply stunning. She had this Ellie Saab deep V belted kind of ball gown. It was kind of like an overskirt with a tighter column skirt underneath with this high thigh high slit. It was gorgeous. The um, mixture of fabrics, it was the velvet and the other one looked like a tweed but I know it wasn't tweed and it had um, like a floral motif which was a huge trend on the red carpet. A lot of people were wearing floral motifs on their dresses. Um, and girl pulled it off. I thought the belt could have been erased just about an inch higher um, and it would look a little bit better, but she, again, killed it. She looked amazing. Um, really surprised me. Like then Justin, he just looked gorgeous as always. He was wearing Tom Ford and you can't go wrong with a little Tom Ford. Now we have to talk about those people I didn't like and there were a few with them. And I am gonna start with Carrie Underwood. Girl, what the hell were you wearing? That pink thing that looked, the color looked like Pepto-Bismol. Let's just start with that. Then she had these ruffles that I, I can't even begin to explain what she was thinking. The ruffles were hideous. The rest of the dress wasn't that bad, but the top was so heavy, it just didn't do anything for her. It was so not like on trend, so not like a fashion piece. Um, and she normally looks so, so, so pretty. So if I'm not mistaken, the designer was Edie Servan, something that she said. Um, definitely, I miss. Like, I think you, she could have looked so amazing and it just, it just did nothing for her. Um, another one who was 
hideous, and I hate to say this because truly the word is hideous, was Sarah Jessica Park. Um, I hate to say it because she was giving an homage to Carrie Fisher with kind of like her hair. It was braided like Princess Leia, and I get it, but the dress, girl, that dress, <gasps> hideous. It looked like a wedding dress gone wrong. It was so much fabric and so much of the wrong fabric and the color washed her out and the sleeves were just puffy and just hideous. Honestly, the whole look, and Sarah Jessica Parker is like Miss Fashion, you know, she knows what's in, she knows what looks good. So I don't know what the hell went wrong because she looked awful, 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 awful. Nicole Kidman and Alexander McQueen looked awful. Like, I hate to say it, but she looked awful. I think um, Brad Grojewski on Fashion Police said it best. This The only way this dress would look good is if she took it off, put it back in the hanger, put it back in the garment bag, and sent it back to Alexander McQueen because it was just, it was awful. It did nothing for her. Now for my best and worst dress. Let me start with the worst because I always like to start with the bad. I hate to say this, and I feel like a lot of people are gonna give me a lot of bad flag for this, but Sarah Jessica Parker, girl, what were you thinking? Honestly, it was just a tragedy because she's just always so well dressed, so well put together. She's such a fashionista that this was just a major fail for me. Um, I normally love Vera Wang, but the whole, just the whole silhouette, the detailing, the color, it was just, it was not a good choice. And for my best dress, it's definitely Lily Collins. She was the first person that I saw on the red carpet and it was love at first sight. The movement, she carried it so well. The detailing on the dress, it was so intricate. Honestly, I can't wait to see what else she has for us this red carpet season. And that's about it for this Golden Globes 2017 fashion recap. I would love to hear from you guys. Who are your best dress? Who are your worst dress? What do you think about the red carpet in general? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. And remember to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.